What's up, YouTube? So, um, I was at a car show a little bit earlier. Obviously, you saw that in the beginning of this video, but a couple photographers here in Houston want to do like a Ford-themed photo shoot at this random place I've never seen before, but it looks awesome with all the graffiti and shit. Figured, why not? So, I'll, I'll put some of the photos we get up right now, maybe do a quick edit here. And then, while we were at the car show, we got invited, myself and Cameron's behind the, let's say what's up. What up? While we were at the car show, uh, we got invited to see a really cool car. So, we're, we're gonna go there next, right? Definitely. They're probably like one of my only chances to go see one, so I figure why not. So let, let's do that. Let's I can only hope that what goes around comes around. I just hope there's something waiting for me when I hit the ground. I fucking hate spiders. That's the third one I found in my truck. Like, I think they're spawning in here. Bro, flick it out. No, bro, are you kidding me? Flick, flick it out. You got like a paper or something? No, I don't have a paper. Oh, bro, that's like this creepiest little spider I've ever fucking seen. Six and a half hours later. All right, guys, so we're at the uh, Houston Bentley and Rolls Royce dealership. Um, the One of the sales guys here and the marketing guy here hit me up and they were like, hey, we got a badass car here in town because the owner of the dealership is looking at one of these or it might be his, I'm not entirely sure yet. I don't know if it's his car or if he's just looking at one so they sent him a demo. Um, definitely something I, I've been wanting to see and I just haven't had the chance. Also, while we're here, there's some amazing Bentegas sitting around. So I'll get some shots of these too. Taylor's walking around in a in a hotel trying to just, I don't know. We're, and we're getting ready to break ground on a new project. So maybe I'll vlog some of the next investment I'm doing. Um, it's gonna be a strip center. We'll, we'll go into more of that later. But for now, I wanna see this car. Bro, look at the color on this thing, man. Look at the inside. Bro, have you seen these before? No. Cool. Like, they come way out and like spray onto the headlight. 720S too, hold on. Color being carbon like that. Oh, it's all carbon, huh? Yeah, completely. Oh my god, man. Alright, so that was fucking insane. Definitely probably one of the only times I'm gonna have a chance to see that car, if not the only time. Supposedly Houston's getting more Bugattis than anybody else with the new model. I just kind of heard that as a rumor. I'd believe it, because I think I know of four people that are getting them already, and then, you know, whoever else. So apparently we're gonna get our own dealership so they can service these things. Uh, so Bugatti Houston is becoming a thing in the next couple years. Um, but since we left, me and Taylor have been arguing over what the best hyper car is and, and why and why not and everything else. You're sticking to the uh, Koenigsegg. You can't beat Koenigsegg. The, for the price, the I'm, performance, and the care, Koenigsegg wins. I'm not arguing with that. I'm just, actually, I am arguing with it. If you like that, it's awesome. I'm saying the Bugatti is like next level. It's twice as expensive. It's two times as many motors, two times as many turbos. It's two times of everything. It's two times. It may be slower. And it's slower. So, But I'm just saying, as a quality <laughs> standpoint, like that Bugatti, when you look at that thing up close, you can just tell the engineering that goes into it is fucking mind-blowing. Awesome car. Comment down below what you think. Also, huge thanks to the Bentley and Rolls-Royce of Houston dealership. I'll put some of their links down below if you want to go give them a follow. Um, and then something I was talking to Cameron about, obviously, by the way, guys, I'm with Taylor now, not Cameron. I kind of switched out uh, friends here. But so I was talking about with Cameron, 
is that recently I've, I've seen so many cars and I've been around them, I've been driving them. Um, they no longer do it for me. I know you kind of feel the same way. Like, like I saw an F12 earlier and I didn't even like bat an eye. I just kind of like glanced at it and just kept doing my thing. Where like a couple years ago, if I saw an F12 or a mid store, I was like, oh my God, like drooling over it. And now I think there's just, there's so many of them out there. There's so much money, especially in the Houston area. I mean, it's like, like seeing a Huracan is the equivalent to like seeing a Corvette back in the day. Like a Vincidor, you know, I see one every morning. Christian has his in the garage. It's like, I see an Vincidor and I'm not even like phased by it. And it kind of sucks. Cause I remember it used to be so exciting to see sports cars. And now it's just like, eh. Now I'm, I'm you're, you're a bad influence because now I'm looking at like hotels and shit like, oh, I want to own that. <laughs> I will say, no matter how many times I have seen every car in the world, that was definitely an experience. You walk in and see the Bugatti and it's like, I, I was drooling over that thing. Like there's no amount of other cars you could see that makes that like numbing. Like I don't think I'll ever be at a point in my life, unless I own one of these and drive it on a daily basis, that I'll look at a Bugatti and be like, eh. Like that was, that was crazy. I believe he said that one was like three point I don't know what he said. He said close to four. I think like 3.7 or something. That is insane. What's up guys? So uh, it has been a couple days since I had the camera on. Also, this is the second video in a row that I'm finishing in my room. So really need to work on finishing my vlogs while I'm vlogging. I've been pretty shitty at vlogging and getting content out, but that's just because I have two huge projects I have to get done for work. Honestly, the only reason I got this video out is because I stayed up till like 3 a.m. editing and now I gotta get back to work. It's currently 7 a.m. Uh, November 1st. This upcoming weekend, I was gonna review a Z06 Corvette, and then I remembered last minute that I have a wedding to go to. My friends Derek and Ashley are getting married in Austin, so I will be in Austin all weekend. I'm not gonna do a vlog on a wedding, because I'm sure none of you give a shit, but maybe I'll review my truck on the way back, because I got about a three hour drive with nothing to do. Like, share, comment down below what you thought of that Bugatti. Would you pay $3 million for one of those? If we're talking about new value here, you could get three 918s for one Bugatti. That is a hard argument to win. I, I don't, I, I think I'm still going 918. Also, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and uh, I, I gotta get back to work.